What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Pokemon Living Dex, episode 10, uh, Soul Silver Part 2. Uh, very excited for our return here. Uh, last time was pretty, pretty, uh, pretty slow going. It was a shorter one. Uh, everything worked as far as uh, as far as transferring our Pokemon out of Soul Silver and into our bank. Uh, so we're pretty solid there. Uh, you can't even reach 30 megabytes, and you're that's. You're paying for 2,000 uh, slash Asian, you're getting 29 cents. That's, that's some real bad optic fiber connection right there. That, that If that doesn't fix itself soon, like I, I'd be pitching a fit. It's like, come on, I'm paying for you to give me this internet and it's not working. Like, that's oh, that's insane. But guys, welcome back. Uh, first and foremost, hopefully the first thing you see, we're in a much better layout. Like, this layout looks so much cleaner. The the main screen is so much larger, so that way you guys can see what's going on. And then our the lower screen of our DS is there, and it's a little bit larger, that way you can see what's there. Uh, we've moved the counter to the uh, to the upper middle, that way you guys can keep up with how many Pokemon we got here. Uh, it's Sunday, 10 p.m. here. I'm in a mountain that I'm not getting support now. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's, that's kind of fair there. They, they're like, no, nah, we're asleep. That sucks. It was about three years ago, this group of thugs called Team Rocket was involved in wrongdoing. They were abusing Pokemon, but bad things never last. A boy did a wonderful job and Team Rocket was disbanded. That was Red. He did it. A Pokemon are really smart. Traded Pokemon might not listen to you right away. For example, high-level Pokemon sometimes refuse to obey when you don't have enough gym badges. <laughs> well, isn't that fun? Well, okay. Oh, hello. I should be... I should be a familiar face to every Pokemon friend. I'm from the TV show, The Show Me Show. I am Primo, the big brother. Uh, today, would you, one of my fans, tell me what you think of me? I'll tell him what I think of him. Uh, let's see. Oh, I forgot this was a thing in this game. You can choose a word or phrase. Uh, status. Uh... Let's see. What... I, I wanna... I Really, I wanna... I wanna... I wanna be mean to this guy. Do we call him? Uh, he has dry skin. Dry skin first and foremost, uh, and feelings. Dry skin bored, and that's how we feel about him. Brb, I'm biting my cable. Yeah, go, 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 bite him. Uh, dry skin bored. Oh my! Is that how you feel about me? I never thought of it that way before. Hmm. By the way, how do you like the way I'm so exciting and fun? I just said you were dry skin and boring. Uh, let's go with, uh, uh, dot, 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 uh, lifestyle, uh, bath. <laughs> Why is bath a lifestyle? Uh, dot, 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 uh, uh, no, we don't like anything here. Uh, dot, 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 feelings, uh, dislike. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's my answer. Uh, truly, that gives me all new energy so I can work even harder. Great feedback, it'll help me a lot. Thank you for your continued support. I'm glad you enjoyed that feedback, my dude. A guy named Bill made the Pokemon PC storage system. You can access the Pokemon storage system using the PC at the reception there. Why don't you try it once? Is it no longer someone's PC? Is it now Bill's PC? Not still someone's PC. Guys, welcome back to Soul Silver. So last time uh, we started our uh, our Johto adventure, we uh, of course did pick ourselves uh, the wonderful starter uh, Cyndaquil. Actually, already evolved into a Quilava. Uh, we have our Bell Spout and our Cindrid. I didn't end up grinding them up at all. Uh, and then we also have our Togepi egg right there, which should hopefully hatch in this episode. I barely moved with it. I literally just picked it up, but it already is close to hatching. I I literally just picked it up. And then, like, we ran here. So that's about it. So, today we are, we are continuing on. I think we go to the Dark Cave now. I really don't... Uh, I don't actually remember, uh, like, what's next in this, uh, in this game. Let me actually... Let me set this up like that. There we go. Uh, I think we, we had... Bum, bum. Okay, so the next route is Route 32. And so just looking at it... Uh, Mareep is there, Wooper is there, no, at nighttime. All these Pokemon spawning at nighttime. Wooper spawns at night. Uh, Mareep spawns during the day. I have a 20% chance to see Mareep. A 20% chance to see Hoppit. So we have two new encounters that we can get on the next route that we will be looking out for there. 
uh, which is, of course, Route 32. And then the the runes of Alf. Uh, that's that's fine. Uh, and we'll look into uh, some more stuff there. Uh, mm, I don't know if this is right. It says I have to, to serve. Oh, there there's a Lapras that we can encounter there. Uh, that's only if we surf. Otherwise, we just pass through the ruin, right? Yeah, to Route 33. Cool. Uh, have I tried uh, smiting the weak? Uh, no, I haven't tried that yet. I haven't tried that yet at all. I should try that. I should really give that a go. All right, let's uh, let's head to uh, Route 33 I, or 32. Uh, I don't even know where it is because again, I I don't remember a lot of a lot of Johto. <clears throat> Pretty sure it's this way. If not. Who cares? Hey, talk to me. The plants are living things that would want to move around from time to time. Yep, that's Bellsprout, basically. Route 36. I don't think this is the way we're supposed to go. Uh, let's go check out our our map here. Uh, that's Route 37. Wait, this is saying... I don't think Route 32 is our next route. It is. We're supposed to go south. Because our next, our next town is Azalea Town. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. That's, that's fair. We're supposed to go south. That's fine. That is fine, and then we can encounter the uh, the Marip and uh, I wish we could encounter Wooper. That'd be great. Instead, it'll be Hoppin. I also can't wait till we get a bicycle. That's uh, a key item in the back. Oh yeah, I was like, what? What are you talking about? I didn't realize I hit Y. <clears throat> the yellow apricorn. I can't wait till we can make some Pokeballs balls as well. That'll be fun. All right, Route Thirty Two. So. New encounters on this, we're looking for Hoppet, and we're also looking for uh, Marie. Uh, so hopefully we can encounter those two today and get some encounters up. There we go, there's Hoppet right there, so we just gotta catch him. Now level 6, not too bad. Uh, I don't know if I'll be bringing them onto the team, we're just gonna go for a tackle. Uh, hopefully, I mean, we're pretty strong, hopefully it doesn't kill. That's, yeah, that's what I was hoping for. I was hoping for, like, mid-range damage there, but nothing happened. No, yeah, let's hit him with another attack. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and throw one of our mini Pokeballs at it here. Uh, and let's see what happens here. Let me go ahead and scroll down to uh, where you are. There we go. That is a capture. That is now 104 Pokemon in our living decks here as I look for, for Hulpit over here on in my... I don't see. There you are. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, and as per usual, we will, of course, uh, not be nicknaming any of the Pokemon that go into our living decks. Uh, nickname, no. That's another one. We'll have them in our team for now, just in our party, because we do. But I don't know that I want to keep them in here, because we already have Bellsprout as a strong, uh, a strong grass type. Uh, so I'm not too interested in adding... Uh, we'll, of course, have to train them up later to get their evolutions done. Uh, we're going to go and run around for Ekans here. We're going to look for Marie. Marie will probably hang out with us for a while. Uh, being an early electric type that we can get here. My Windows decided to download a 16 gigabyte update. My gosh. That might be why your internet is not doing too good right now. <clears throat> I'm really bad about updating my window, uh, updating my computers, so I just have automatic updates turned off. Uh, and Mac was like, yeah, I'll reinstall everything. My Mac has been asking me to update for like the past, like, two months, and I just keep telling, I just keep going, uh, try tomorrow night. And then the next night it goes, hey, I'm good to update? And I'm like, you know what? Try tomorrow night. And then it goes, okay, I'll try tomorrow night. <laughs> Virtual machine was assigned 99% data connection. Yikes. Big yikes there. Uh, the Wild Marie views growl. It's growling at me. It's making me feel bad. Go ahead and throw another Pokeball at it. Hopefully we catch this great. I didn't buy a Mac. I, oh, oh, you didn't buy a Mac. Oh, virtual machine Mac. Gotcha. I thought you meant like you you have a Mac and then your virtual machine for Windows. Can't be bothered to carry it. Fair. Guys, that is 105 Pokemon in our living decks. That's pretty exciting there. As I go and update. Uh, ooh, no, not, not that Pokemon. Add Marie to our living decks here. Bum, 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 bum. Give a nickname to the Cotton Reef? Of course not. This guy will join to our team here. Uh, he'll be pretty nice to have uh, throughout this. Uh, let's actually check him out here. Level 6. Highly persistent. Mild nature. Mild nature here. 
Uh, of course, right now only knowing Tackle and Growl, but it does have a static, so potentially to get some uh, perilous per perlar Polaris Assault. We'll go ahead and switch him up to, to one, and we'll do some switch training. F windows. I want a tablet now. Fair. Uh, actually, I... Okay, I was like, I don't have any... Edition. I don't have any, uh... Alright, we're gonna go ahead and put some HP into Mareep, though, so that way Mareep does not die. Because I'm assuming this is gonna be a trainer battle. What? Wait up! What's the hurry? We have some good Pokemon there. That must be from training you gave them around Violet City. Training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir of Violet City, take this. It increases its power of Grass-type moves. Oh, sick! Sick. Thank, thank you, my dude. I'll actually give this to Bellsprout. I'll give the Bellsprout. I'll give, uh, it was trash. Give the Miracle Seed to Bellsprout. That'd be great. Did you watch the Thor movies? Of course I did. Absolutely. I've watched all of the Marvel movies, uh, that are currently out. Yeah, I've watched every, every current Marvel movie. Same with DC. I've watched all the current DC movies. I'm big into comics, so anything comic related I've probably watched. Bam, 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 bam. I'm gonna go for a couple of, uh, I'm gonna go for a couple wild battles here. Oh, actually, no, I'm not. That was barely any damage. Can't escape! Why can't I escape? Why? <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be a trader battle down here. I switch to Miller. I've never seen this man in my life. Another Bell Sprout here. We do, of course, need to eventually catch, uh,. Another Bell Sprout and stuff like that, but I won't worry about that until we evolve ours. I mean, I, actually, we should probably catch one and just have it in the bank or in the PC, uh, because then as soon as we get our, as soon as this Bell Sprout evolves, it'll just count as a new encounter. We should actually probably go ahead and do that then. Go, Marie! I know that he, uh, Marie will barely hurt Rattata. Uh, so we're just gonna switch out to Cool Lava. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, use that. Hey, tackle me up. Uh, let's just go. Let's just go for a quick attack here. What do you think about 5G internet? <clears throat> I mean, I'm for it right now. Honestly, the internet I have is pretty so-so. Uh, like it's decent internet for where I am. So I'd be down for anything better. <clears throat> I'd be down for anything better. And then the, the apartment we're moving to, I actually need to, tomorrow, I'm gonna call Spectrum and, and see if they can go ahead and, if, like, set a date for them coming to set up internet in the new apartment, which means next week, I don't know how streams are gonna go. It is next week, right? Yeah. Next week, I don't know how streams are gonna go because I'm not sure uh, how, how moving's gonna take, because we, we move into the new place on Wednesday, so I'm hoping I can still make a third. Honestly, Thursday's stream next week probably just just won't happen because uh, we will be moving. But I'm hoping I can still make a Friday stream happen. Uh, it might just be later in the day. And same with Thursday. I might be able to make a Thursday stream happen, but it might not be at the normal time. And and for that, we might not play a normal game. We might play like just do like a TCG stream. Uh, oh oh and yeah and uh, you know uh, pardon, Pokemon battle. I'm, I'm on the phone. Uh, all right, I'll accept your challenge. Uh, like all the people that complain that they don't get that, they will download conspiracy videos. Like <laughs> just the speed, times the speed. <clears throat> bam, 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 bam. All right, we'll go ahead and switch back out to Quilava. Get some uh, levels on our Mareep here. Honestly, right now Mareep and Bellsprout, I think, are going to be with us for a while. Uh, why? I don't know. I just, I really want to, I, 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 in this, in this run that we're doing through the living decks, I want to really use Pokemon that I, I, I don't normally put on my team. Uh, like, I've never put a Bellsprout on my team for longer than is necessary. Like, as soon as a different Pokemon would go along, like, I would go without a Grass type, just because I, I don't care about Bellsprout or I don't care about Marine. But I think I want to change it up this time and use some Pokemon I don't normally use. Oh, you're, you're big, you're on... Let me try this again. Oh, you're on a big journey to see the sights. Neat. Hey, let's be friends. Can I have your phone number? I want to hear everything you've seen. Fine. Bum, 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 bum. <clears throat> I'll telephone you if I hear anything interesting. You do that, okay? You do that. 
Uh, we're still on Route 32 here, so there aren't any new encounters that we can look for, but let's see what's down here. I assume this is a, a Pokemon a trainer battle down here. Another Marie! Probably the same thing that that I just said that we were do we should do with Bell's route. We should probably go ahead and catch another Mareep as well. That way, as soon as our current Mareep evolves, uh, we just have this one in the bank. Or in the PC, rather. Mareep, use Growl. Which, I mean, it, it honestly might be smart to start doing some stuff like that. Like, get these lower ones just s situated away. Which will eventually... Ooh. Got that paralyzation on me. Because we'll eventually need a third Marine that will level up, but I, I don't know if, if we see these guys in the wild. I haven't gone through my Gen 2 stuff like I did with Gen 1. Paralyzed can't move. To see if uh, to see like where we can encounter these Pokemon and, and what they can do for us. Just because I, I with, with Gen 1 I didn't do that until we were near the end of the run. <clears throat> and I could start searching a little bit better. And this time I'm gonna I have a walkthrough pulled up for Soul Silver. My only use for using the walkthrough is I'm just every time we get to a new route or a new area just to look what the uh, the Pokemon available on that route are. We're not gonna we're we're not gonna try and catch every Pokemon on every route every time we enter a new route, but we're gonna look out for Pokemon and try and, and try and do as much as this can spread out so that way once we beat the Elite Four, we're not gonna spend like two extra streams going back and looking for because we're gonna try and catch a lot of Gen Two in this run. I uh, give a nickname. No, this is also not counter count as a new encounter because we currently have Mareep. So once we evolve our current Mareep, then it'll count as an encounter here. Uh, I want to say these guys are all... My Pokemon freshly caught. I want to say these guys are all trainers. Hopefully just magic carts. No Poliwags. I was going to say if it was just magic carts, Mareep could just save by himself. Mareep still might, but I feel like this bubble's going to hurt a lot. I'm gonna drop my speed. I'm already. They already outspeed me, so that's fine. Tackle barely does anything. Uh, let's switch to Bell Sprout, actually. We'll switch to Bell Sprout, because they. Vinyl can be effective. And with the Miracle Seed, that's even better. That's even better there. Fire Power was weakened. No, not my Fire Power! <laughs> Bubble does 1 HP of damage, and we vine whip here. This will probably 2 shot. With the Miracle Seed, it might 1 shot. No. Let's get a 2 shot off. They still outspeed me. Ooh, if they would hit that Hypnosis, that would have sucked. Hypnosis hitting me put if and me getting put to sleep there would have sucked. Uh, Marie gets 65 XP up to level 8. Very nice. Up to level 7. Very nice. Bellsprout learned to growth. Sweet. Fisherman Henry is about to sit in Poliwag. Will I switch Pokemon? I sure will. We'll do what we just did. Let's do a little bit of switch training. Honestly, today's episodes are going to be kind of laid back. Slowly making our way to the next city. Kind of training up some Pokemon. It's smart. It's what I, I rarely ever do in Pokemon games. Like, I always, like, rush through the, the first, like, half of the game. And then I get to the second half of the game. And I'm like, well, I'm under-leveled. Oh, Hypnosis landed. And I'm like, well, I'm under-leveled, but I'm here. So we are actively going to be trying to take out every trainer <clears throat> as we go. Uh, I just feel like it's it's the smarter play here, you know? Bellsprout is, of course, still asleep. I'm uh, going to go for another bubble. It's probably going to do 1 HP of damage. I'm not too concerned. I'm not too concerned with say, being asleep right now, because we'll eventually wake up in a second here. Because he's just going to keep doing 1 HP damage to us, so it's not that big of a deal. Ooh, I think that was 2 HP damage. Alright, we'll st we're still asleep. Do I have, uh... I don't think I have an Awakening on me. No, I have an Antidote and I have a Paralyzation pill. Please wake up. Bellsprout. Bellsprout, wake up. Bellsprout, please wake up. Right, he's been asleep like three turns at this point, so we should wake up this turn. There we go. And then watch Poliwag go for like another Hypnosis. No, okay, went for a bubble. Good. Would have been real upset if he would have for another Hypnosis. Hit him with that Vine Whip, knock him out, give us some XP. 
My wife got me perma banned on Town of Salem and a seven week ban on, on Smite. How? How did she do that? God, she she talks. Again. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Splash? Yeah, no, I was hoping you were just gonna come up with a magic carp and just splash, my dude. Oh, whoa, you made me lose that fish. I'm sorry, my dude. Very competitive. It's fair. Four Pokemon, please have four magic carps. Please just four magic carps. Marie, please be able to do damage to these guys. Oh, he's splashing about. But nothing happened. Okay, that's 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 okay. That's okay damage wise. Bum, bum, bum. Go for a tackle. And oh my gosh. It's gonna take five tackles to kill these things. I need Marie to get an electric move. <laughs> I need Thundershock, please. Hopefully, hopefully level 9. Uh, will we switch Pokemon? No. No, we won't switch Pokemon. Level 15 Magikarp. Okay, we'll switch Pokemon. We'll switch to Bellsprout. Let me actually look when Marie, uh, like, actually gets something useful. Marie, uh, Pokemon. Alright, hit him with Vine Whip. i mute my phone. I apologize. Uh, let's see here. Marie. Well, as soon as Pokey Wikipedia wants to load and, like, not lag every time I try and move it. Please, my dude, please. Please, my dude, let me. I'm, like, mo scrolling the page down and it's barely moving. And now it's just, uh, now it's just a white screen. So, I love that. There we go. Quit loading in your ads. That's what you're just trying to do. You're just trying to load ads. And I'm just trying to look at moves. Okay, well, this this website's useless. Marie grew to level 9. Bellsprout's getting close. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and switch Pokemon here. We're, of course, gonna go ahead and switch to Marie here. Uh, what's he got now? Like, level 20 Magikarp? Back to level 5 Magikarp. Okay. We'll go for some tackles here. Uh, okay, here we go. We'll go to Cerebi.net. Cerebi.net's a much better website. Uh, at level 4 it gets Thunder Wave, at level 8 it gets Thunder Shock. Well, that's not true, because we're level 9, and we only have Tackle and Growl. Oh, that's Generation 7 and up. Uh, can you give me, like, Generation... Can you give me Soul Silver, Like, what it does in Soul Silver. I hate that they, like, changed a lot of that stuff, because then it, like, makes it difficult for me to search. So let me just search Soul... Silver. Bum, 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 bum. 21 XP points there. Uh, I'm gonna sit in Magikarp. No, we aren't gonna switch Pokemon. It's probably gonna be another fifth level 15 Magikarp. Uh, oh, okay, here we go. All right, Soul Silver. I got Soul Silver stuff here. So at level 10, I learned Thunder Shock. Solid. At level 10, he learned Thunder Shock. Uh, level 14, Thunder Wave. Uh, but Thunder Shock is really what we want, just so we can go ahead and oh, we missed. Uh, and that'll be fine there. And then what level do you evolve? 15, level 15 you evolve, so you'll get Thunder Wave right before you evolve. That's fine. What is my favorite food? Uh, it depends on what I'm in the mood for, really. Uh, easy answer would just say potato, because if, 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 if you make, if you can make something out of potato, out of a potato, I most likely will really enjoy, like, french fries and stuff like that, but that just seems like such a, like, a bad answer. Uh, so honestly, I really love, I really love snow crab legs. Uh, I haven't had any in forever, though. Uh, I'm always down for a steak. Always down for a steak. Steak and potatoes. Give me, like, a little baked potato with a steak. Mm. Alright, where are we at now? Where does this take me to? I don't, I think this is, oh, do these both lead the same way? They do. I'm really good at fishing, but I'm even better at Pokemon. Hey, good for you. I'm growing my own potatoes. That's, that's super cool. Doesn't surprise me though. You're out here being, you know, a carpenter and all this other stuff. Doesn't surprise me that you're you're also like uh, a farmer too. 
while also being like this insane fighter. Hit me with that peck. Only gonna do two damage here. I don't think tackle's gonna hurt too much here though. No. Uh, let's actually switch out to Bellsprout. I have a lot of free time. I have a lot of free time too, but I don't make the most of it. <clears throat> I instead make YouTube videos. Ah, confused us. That's fair. I work four to five hours a day, five days a week. The dream. The dream, to be able to, to only have to work like four or five hours a day. Sleep for four hours. I, 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 I feel you there on like the four hour sleep schedule. Like I tend to stay up really late right now because of being in quarantine and whatnot. So like last night I, I went to bed about 5.30 and then I woke up at like 12. So it's like, that's six hours, but I, I, I can get a, I sleep very little. As someone who loves sleep, I don't sleep enough. It's kind of because of the, uh, one of the uh, jobs plays a lot. That's fair. Reap learned Thundershock. There we go. Now that we finished these three water trainers, we learned our electric type move. Bell sprout up to level 9. There we go. Some good XP early on here, getting our lower level Pokemon leveled up here. Uh, don't young people fish anymore. I can teach you how to fish as well if you'd like to. Ex yes, exchange phone numbers. Give me that old rod. Are you going to give me an old rod for it? No, he's not going to give me an old rod for it. Okay. Uh, I can't have social media and can't use my real name online or post pictures. Interesting. Interesting. Bye. Uh, maybe, I, I don't know if I want to keep giving some XP to Sentra right now. I don't care, I don't know if I really care about Sentra right now. Don't know if I care too much about Sentra right now, so. I think, um, I didn't, I think. I found some good Pokemon in grass, so I think they'll do it for me. Uh, yeah, these are actually, that, uh, we're about to go through a Pokemon Center. I also have, like, the map pulled up of this, of this route, just so I can see where... Uh, yeah, I, as soon as I hit that, I was like, oh, Wooper is part ground type. I think, actually, Wooper is only a ground type. I don't think Wooper is a, a water... Is Wooper a water ground? I think Wooper is a water ground. Come on, Bellsprout. Oh, uh, there's a Pokemon Center at the edge of this route, and then we go into the, the ruins of Alf. No. I don't think we actually do go into the ruins. I don't see where the ruins are on this map. But I do know we go into uh, a cave system to get to the next route here. There we go. A nice one shot on Wooper there. Uh, I know, I've talked about the, the small ant one guy a lot. Watch a lot of his Switch streams and his YouTube videos. He is currently in the middle of playing through Pokemon Platinum only using a Wooper. And it is the most entertaining thing I've ever seen. Like, Wooper is the only Pokemon he uses. He has a, a couple... He'll, he'll, like, bring in another Pokemon specifically to learn, like, the, the ancient moves that Wooper cannot learn, like Cut uh, and Rock Smash like that. So, like, he has those that he'll pull out of his PC, but then he has them... He KOs them. He, like, just goes into wild battles and just, like, uses items so that way they get KO'd. Uh, so that way, like, he can't use them. It's great. Uh, this area is great for fishing. Look at all those people fishing. Did you feel like you wanted to try fishing, too? Well, yes, give me an old rod. Give it to me. When you want to go fishing, face. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you. Thank you for teaching me how to fish. Uh, I provide land and money. My uncle takes care of them. Oh, I I'm like a sponsor for the potatoes and other veggies, fruits, and animals. That's really cool. Bonjour, how are you? Are you picking apricorns? Uh, way to go, little apricorn collector. I feel so great, I want to give you this. The lure balls. Sweet. Lure ball. This Pokeball makes it easy to catch the Pokemon that appears when you go fishing. Actually, this is made from apricorns. Consider it two small gifts from me. If you want more, go to Azalea Town. A man named Kurt can make special Pokeballs out of apricorns. Apricorns rule! Uh, I believe that's the next town we go to, actually. What should I make my Pokemon hold? Maybe an item that increases its attack power? Probably. I personally know nothing about farming. Same. Same. Bum, 
Bum, bum, bum, bum. Bit about animals and fruit, but everything I uh, touch dies. That badge, it's from Violet City. You beat Faulkner? My cactus tribe. I thought I thought cacti were able to survive in like anything. This should be an easy fight here for my Marie. Having thunder shock. <laughs> yeah, that says a lot. Uh, when we get to the new place, I, I told uh, I told my wife I want to get uh, like some little plants for my office just to keep it like make it look a little alive. But I was like, I just want some succulents, not like real plants. You know, the fake plants that I don't have to do anything to, but that way it makes it look like I'm good at taking care of plants. Cool, Mareep is gonna hit level 11 from here. We might actually be able to evolve uh, Mareep today, honestly. Uh, Spira will keep battling here. But we are about to go into a, a cave, which means rock Pokemon. We don't have a water type. So... And Mareep's, Mareep will be useless in the cave if we're seeing rock types. Uh, thank god I can't have kids. Ninety nine XP, easily a Couple more trainer battles, and we will have uh, Mareep evolving, which would be nice because that'll count as a new encounter since we caught that other one. <clears throat> Item over behind there. Uh, we didn't end up catching another Bell Sprout though. The Union Cave. All right, we're now in Union Cave. Uh, Union Cave right here. Show me the available Pokemon in Union Cave. So we're on first floor. Uh, so Rattata is here. Uh, Geodude, Zubat, Onix have all of those. And we can fish a Magikarp and a Goldeen. We have both of those. Uh, so we don't care. Uh, basement floor one. Uh, same Pokemon, so we don't care. And uh, basement two floor. Uh, same Pokemon, uh, except for surfing. We can encounter some different things, but we can't surf right now. Uh, fishing, though, that's all with a good rod. We don't have a good rod, so we don't care. Cool. So we basically don't care about any encounters in this cave. Uh, we just have to make it through this cave. Because we, uh, we don't care. Bum, bum. I honestly probably should have Marie out first here. We're going to switch Bells brought up first here. Also, our eggs should be hatched pretty soon. A wild zoo bat appeared. Go Bellsprout! And then Bellsprout, use run! Oh, can't escape? Okay. How can we not escape a blind bat? This bat doesn't even have any eyes. Uh, thank you, Virtual MacBook, for using my internet for an hour every last bit of it. My gosh. Uh, on top of, like, me saying, like, I, I don't regularly like update my uh, computers. Uh, I also have uh, like my MacBook because like I have, a, I have a little MacBook over there and I have it uh, like backed up onto an old hard drive that I don't like an old uh, external drive uh, specifically to like back it up in case something was to happen to it. But I forget to back it up a lot. Uh, so currently the last time it popped up to tell me it hasn't been backed up was it popped up to let me know that I haven't backed it up in uh, 1200 days, uh, which is, you know, three years. So I need to back it up. I really need to. Uh, I'll go for a Vine Whip here. I don't think that it'll do much against Onyx, but I honestly can't remember. Uh, to have it feels so nice to have 17 ping instead of 1700. Literally two second delay between tablet and down on PC. That's insane. It is super effective. Okay. I thought Vine Wolf was super effective on Onyx, but I honestly couldn't remember. This will be some really good XP for Bellsprout, though. This will be some great XP for Bellsprout. Let me actually... I also I need to see when uh, Bellsprout evolves. We, we should have caught... Uh, we should have caught another one. Uh, so that way we could have that there. On expense, 253 XP, that's amazing. Because it's not only a trainer battle, it's also that. He evolves at level 21, so we have some time here. Uh, he'll learn Sleep Powder. Oh, no, he'll learn Wrap right here at level 11. Then Sleep Powder at level 13. Okay, so nothing too much that we're looking for there. 
Bum, 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 bum. But we have until he's level 21 before he evolves, because then his, uh, he's a trade evolution, I believe. I want to say, I'm pretty sure, no, a leaf stone. A leaf stone to victory bell. Because it's when they, in Gen 2, they added in a lot more stone, uh, stone evolutions. Do you have another rock type, my dude? You're headed to Azalea, are you? <laughs> let my Pokemon see if you are good enough to battle. Okay, yeah, let me see. Yeah, I guess. See if your Pokemon think I'm good enough to battle. Okay, Russell. Go, Bellsprout. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, level four? Okay. All right. Bum, 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 bum. 61 XP, not, not really anything too exciting. Go ahead and hit him with another Vine Whip here. Geodude has fainted. We might, we're gonna hit level 12 from this battle, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and we'll start using our Kulava a lot more as well, but like right now, like I said, I want to make sure the rest of our party has some decent levels on it. Uh, as we go into this next gym battle here. Actually, I have no idea what the next gym battle is as far as typing. Because I don't know. I don't really remember Johto that much. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Uh, cool. Let's uh, keep on keeping on. There are two floors to... Two more floors to get through. Uh, yeah. Let's face this guy. This guy looks pretty cool. Is he about to take me to Flavortown? Zubat Supersonic keeps confusing my Pokemon. I am seriously upset about that. <laughs> Let's go to Flavortown. Oh, Fire Breather Bill. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, he's using coughing. I was about to say, Bellsprout, run away very, very quickly. But he's not using a fire type, so it's okay. Wind's howling. I'm very excited to ju to, to uh, play some more uh, Blood and Wine. And the only reason I, I was originally playing Blood and Wine today, because originally I was going to do Soul Silver today, and then during last stream I changed it and said we were going to do Blood and Wine, was because I wasn't sure if this was going to work, and then it worked, so I said let's do it. And then also, I haven't had a chance to sit down and, and play Witcher. Because uh, I before we jump back into it, I at least want to see if I can fix the lag. Uh, but I'd also like to see if I can uh, get some potions and stuff, and I just haven't had time over the past couple over the past day and a half. So I'm gonna try and do that tonight and tomorrow, and jump into the Witcher and go do that. That way, you know, I I don't look super stupid in the next part when I don't have any potions or anything. I at least want to get like the better swallow and stuff like that, which honestly shouldn't be that difficult to do. I'm just lazy. Was found a great ball. That's our first great ball. Alright, no need to fish or anything like that because we already know Magic Carp and Goldeen are the only two things we're going to see there. This Zubat's going to keep us from escaping. Just watch. Watch try. Now we got to safely. Cool. <clears throat> are my drivers up to date? Uh, they should be. On GPU, they should be. The drivers are, are the one thing I, I make sure I, I, I have set to auto-update. Uh, because it screwed me over in the past. But like, like... Like, Windows, I don't update. I roam far and wide in search of Pokemon. Are you looking for Pokemon too? Then you're my collecting rival. Dude, you're not my rival. I don't even know your name. Oh, now, actually, I would love for Pokemon Maniac Larry to be my rival. Can I choose to make him my rival instead of Silver? I'll check my drivers, though, and make sure they're updated. I'm fairly certain they are. Uh, fairly certain they are, but I'll, I'll check them and make sure. I'm uh, going to hit him with another Vine Whip here. Oh my gosh, that's not going to knock out? Okay, well, put me to sleep. I'm just going to get drowsy. I don't think I'll fall asleep until next turn. I think I fell asleep at the end of this turn. Which is fine, we can just switch out. Dude, sometimes the XP level up moves so slow, and other times it, like, just jumps. We'll also learn Sleep Powder? Yeah, we'll learn Sleep Powder. Because Sleep Powder will be useful uh, for catching some Pokemon, putting them to sleep. 
So it'll be useful to have a Pokemon that knows how to put Pokemon to sleep. Bell Sprout learned Sleep Powder. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, my Pokemon. Oh, he only had the one Pokemon, so we're, 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 we're good. We good. Oh, maybe we don't have to go through the bottom two floors. I guess we only go to the bottom two floors if we're looking for stuff. Or, like, later in the game. Sweet. Alright, so we are on to Route 33. Let's see the available Pokemon here. Uh, Hoppit is available here. We don't need Hoppit. Uh, Ekans, Rattata, Zubat, and Spearow. So, no Pokemon we need. So, Route 33 is totally fine. Oh, no, let me... There we go. Route 33 is totally fine. Nothing we need to catch here. We'll grab these Apricorns, though. Because uh, we are at what we will be on Azula Town. Uh, which Kurt will be here, and we can uh, make some Pokeballs. Which we might, we might, we might. I don't know what what Pokeballs we'd make. Quick Balls, honestly. Quick Balls would be the most useful, but I don't know what, what the ingredients are for those. Hey, talk to me. <sighs> I finally got through that cave. It was much bigger than I expected. I got too tired to explore the whole thing, so I came outside. Yeah, he came outside and instead stood in the rain. I came through the cave, but I still have plenty of energy left. Uh, we're actually speedrunning uh, 100%, which means we have to uh, face every trainer. What if someone did a speedrun for catching all 890 Pokemon? What would that speedrun look like? Can I be the first one to submit a time for it? Just take all of my streams and put them together. Just put a timer on it, it'll be great. It'll be like a 60 plus hour video. Probably a lot more than a 60 plus hour, probably like 200 hour video. I've actually thought about it. I would actually, I'd like to get into speedrunning, honestly. I, I've been thinking about it over the over the past uh, couple days. I think, it'd be, I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be fun to, to try out, learn some stuff. Honestly, the game right now that like I've, I've been uh, toying around with the idea of wanting to speedrun is like Spider-Man, uh, the, the PS4 game. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. But I feel like it'd be a lot of fun. Uh, but like, the current world record for uh, Spider-Man is like three hours and something. Yeah, I actually still have pulled up right here. The current uh, world record for it is three hours, 51 minutes, and 51 seconds. Uh, and that was from a year ago. But people are like still speed running it. Uh, there was a person who uh, uploaded their new time seven days ago that's three hours, 56 minutes. Like, honestly, I, I know I wouldn't be a very high time. There's only been 34 people who have submitted times for the inner percent on a new game, and the longest one was 8 hours, 49 minutes, 44 seconds. I feel like I could beat that. I feel like I could get get myself, like, top 20. 20th is 5 hours, 22 minutes. I feel like I could at least do that. Uh, and then just try and, like, learn it. But, like, I, I don't want to do, like, speed runs where you, like, break the game. I, I don't... I think those are stupid. Uh, like where you like glitch, not not glitching through a wall, not that, but like where you, uh, like the fall the Fallout Four one where you have to do something in the beginning and then you're immediately in the heavy in the heavy armor and then you can just walk to the end of the game. I'm just like that's I want I want to at least I it's at any percent, but I at least want you to play the game. By the way, I'm a hacker, so after going to Mountain, I don't usually go into the town, but I bet you have all kinds of town on your turn and journey, don't you? You know, if you were to trade phone numbers, then we could exchange all kinds of information, yes? It's like, in Soul Silver and Heart Gold, they really just, like, cram down your throat. Give people phone numbers. I'll give you a call when I think of a good heartwarming story. Can't wait. Azalea Town. Hey, it's a Team Rocket member. Uh, who are you? Uh, you don't know us. We are... Team Rocket! What? We, we broke up a while ago. <laughs> Give me a break. We have not broken up. Well, uh, actually we did once. But we have come back to pursue Giovanni's ambition. Enough talking. Shut up and just beat it. Thud. Nothing is going on. It's unsafe to go in there, so I'm standing guard to make sure people don't wander in. Am I not a good Samaritan? like that little bit of a rhyme there in the slowpoke well. Uh, first things first, before we start talking to anyone in this town, we're going to do two things. We are going to use a uh, Pokemon Center, and then we are going to save the game. K 
notification of something decides to die and turn off, and then we lose all of our progress. I mean, Witcher 3 runs on 75 FPS on a, on a, tw a 2080 Ti Blood and Wine. It's not too bad, actually. That's actually much better. Uh. What do I. I don't even remember what I actually have. Uh. What do I have? I know I, I know I have an NVIDIA something. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, open up my NVIDIA the control panel. Pretty please. Alright, while that's opening. Let's save the game. I need to just like set up like a a thing, uh Oh. I just closed everything, that's what just happened there. I closed absolutely everything on accident. Or I minimized it, I didn't close it. I actually don't remember what video card I have. Oh well, not important. Not important to me in the slightest. <clears throat> We're actually gonna make it out and talk to people in here. They might give me stuff. Do you know what an apricorn is? You crack it open and discard the cord and put it in a special machine, then you can catch Pokemon. Before Pokeballs became available, everyone used apricorns to catch Pokemon. As long as it's not integrated? No, 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 it's not integrated. That's what I originally had. Uh, it's currently updating. My installer is. Do any of your Pokemon know what they call hidden moves? When a Pokemon faints, it just means it doesn't have the power to battle, but it can still use hidden moves outside of battle. Yes, HMs. Bill's PC can store up to 30 Pokemon per box. Man, everyone's just really loving Bill. Everyone just loving Bill. The Slowpoke have disappeared from town. I heard their tales are being, tales are being sold somewhere. We are going to go in here and, and do some purchasing of some items just to have. A great ball is better for catching Pokemon than a Pokeball, but Kurtz might be better sometime. The number of gym badges you have shows how strong a trainer you are. The more badges you have, the better items you'll see in shops. That is true. Uh, I don't want to sign in with NVIDIA right now. Bum, 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 bum. I actually, I do have to, to sign in to look at anything here. I am not a robot. Uh, with tra I, I hate the, these things like when it's like uh, select all the squares with a traffic light in it and then you do it and then it decides that what you've done is incorrect but it doesn't tell you why it was incorrect. So I'm like, I don't know what you assume is a traffic light. And then you do all that and, you, and you've put in the wrong password. So you've done all that, so then you have to do it all over again. It's my favorite. Uh, select, oh, select all the images with bicycles. Click verify once all the bicycles are gone. That's a bicycle. Perfect. And then watch my password still be wrong. Sure is. All right, I don't care anymore. I've moved on from caring. All right, bye. Uh, heel ball and net ball and blue mail. And no, don't want anything from you. I want to talk to this guy down there. Welcome, what do you need? Bye. Uh, I want to buy, uh, I want to buy a couple of things here. I want to buy some antidotes. I want to buy, I want to buy five of them to keep in my bag. Uh, paralyzation heals, we'll buy five of those as well. Thank you, here you are. The paralyzation heal, uh, some awakening. Some awakening will be helpful. I'm going to spend a lot of money here. My wife, uh, want me to get the most aggressive dots for me for no reason. Uh, burn Hill, we don't have any Burn Hills on us, so let's actually only buy three, because these are expensive. We shouldn't need them that much. <laughs> I hate Chihuahuas. Bum, 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 bum. When I was younger, like, a Chihuahua was the dog that I was like, that's the cane, and that's the dog. I I'm also going to buy an escape rib just to have. Uh, like, uh, a Chihuahua was the dog that I wanted. I don't know why. Uh, and then I ended up getting... That was like years and years ago. I don't know why that's the kind of dog I wanted. I truly don't. All right, let's talk to everyone. This isn't Kurt. Kurt is further down. We let our far-fetched fetch branches for charcoal. 
and it scares my golden retriever a lot. All the slowpoke have disappeared from the town. The forest protectors may be angry with us. It may be a bad omen. We should stay in. Where have all the slowpoke gone? Are they out playing somewhere? Have you guys checked the well with the ominous Team Rocket person standing out in front of it? Did you come to get Kurt to make some Pokeballs? A lot of people do just that. We have this tough guy called Kurt in this town. He should be able to take care of it. Well, he hasn't done so yet. Do you know about Slowpoke Tail? I heard it's tasty. Aren't you glad I told you that? Not really. Not really. There's Kurt's house. Cut through Azalea and you'll be in the Ilex Forest. But those skinny trees make it impossible to get through. The Charcoal's man's Pokemon can cut down trees. We'll just steal some, uh, steal some Apricorns from outside Kurt's house. You'd think Kurt, the Pokemon maker from Apricorns, would have more Apricorn trees outside of his house. You'd think he'd have a whole, like, farm for it. Like, po uh, Minecraft style. The Slowpoke are gone. Were they taken away by bad people? Hmm? Who are you? Liz, eh? You want me to make some balls? <laughs> Sorry, we don't have to wait. Do you know Team Rocket? Eh, don't worry, I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket's an evil gang that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. <laughs> anyway, they're at the well, cutting off Slowpoke tails for sale. So I'm gonna have to give them a lesson in pain. Oh, hang on, Slowpoke. Old Kurt is on his way. Alright, you do it, old Kurt. You do it. I believe in you, old Kurt. I don't believe in old Kurt, actually, so I'm actually going to go follow up with him. He's going to have... Oh, oh. What's wrong? What's wrong, Bellsprout? Old Kurt fell down a well. I fell down a well, too. Slowpoke well. Uh, hey there, Wiz. Uh, the guard took off when I shouted at him. But then I took a tumble down the well. I slammed down hard on my back, so I can't move. <laughs> Rats. If I was fit, my Pokemon would have punished them. Uh, can't be helped. Well, show them how gutsy you are in my place. Hey, I'll show them how gutsy I am. Is it going to be a Slowpoke? No, it's a Zubat. Uh, uh, is anything else spawned in here? Zubat and Slowpoke. Zubat and Slowpoke. Solid. We don't need either of those. Hey, could you have some Gen 2 Pokemon in your Generation 2 game? <laughs> I was standing guard up top when some old coot yelled at me. He started me so much I fell down here. I'm thinking about getting a third pin. To, uh, for what do you, what do you want to put in it? Do I need it? Absolutely not. But do you want it? Absolutely. But would it be useful? Uh, still no. Tackle. And with a vine whip. I don't know why I'm still using Bellsprout as my main Pokemon right now. Don't question it, I just am. Hundred and nine XP here, very nice. About to sit in Rattata, will we switch Pokemon? We will switch Pokemon. Let's actually bring Mareep in. I'm surprised our egg hasn't hatched yet. We'll check it after this battle. Uh to see if uh, if it's like it'll be hatching any second. I think it would be fun to make plastic spider web on a bedroom door. Be fun. Thunder shot. This should be a uh, be a nice two shot here. He's going for a quick attack. I wish we went for another tail whip though. And he's uh, gets that paralyzation, but it's fine because we're gonna take him out right here. So it doesn't really matter that he's paralyzed because he's dead. The most intense paralyzation done to a Pokemon when they've been knocked out and can no longer battle. Uh, this is not my day. Sure isn't, my dude. You got scared off and you fell into a well. Stop taking slow pup tails. <laughs> what? You want to disobey a direct order from the ex uh, from executive Proton? If you want to stop us, you'll have to defeat us all. Go ahead and try. Look at that slow pup just sitting on the side right there. He's just like. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, you're the you're the grunt from. Oh shoot, I, I didn't. I meant to switch bells for out. I meant to switch Marie. We also didn't check the egg. We'll do that after this battle. We won't forget. Not very effective. Of course it's not. Of course it's not. Uh, we'll switch to Marie. Hey Percy. 
You having a good nap over there? He looks like he's having a good nap over there. Astonish! Go ahead and hit him with a Thunder Shock. Super effective. Bum, 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 bum. Again. So no, we'll keep battling. No, because I would like to evolve for eat today. Which I think we can easily do. Because we'll end up taking on the gym today as well. We'll easily at least finish up gym 2 here. And then we'll go into Ilex Forest as well. Which we might have some interesting encounters there. Hopefully some Gen 2 encounters, honestly. Because uh, we've seen majority, majority like Gen 1 Pokemon in this in, in this run. Which is great. I love Kanto Pokemon, but I've caught the majority of them. You rotten brat! And it's like, ne like the ones that we're seeing are never the ones that like we need. Who has found a super potion? Those two over there, that's the executive over there that we need to fight. But I just want to walk over here and make sure I'm not missing anything. I don't think that I am. Alright, let's actually... Let's switch uh, Mareep up front here. Now let's check on that egg. Sounds like we heard coming from inside it'll hatch soon. Yeah. Uh, okay, there's nothing over there. Nothing over there except it's just getting caught in, uh, caught on the stairs. Go, Marie! Marie, Marie. Fight me! Quit taking Slowpoke Tales. If we listen to you, Team Rocket's rep will be ruined. Can't ruin Team Rocket's rep. Never. Resetata. Go, Marie. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum. I wonder. I wonder what's the like uh, the world record for like Soul Silver, like for speed run. I actually want to look that up. Speed run, uh, Soul Silver. Pokemon Soul Silver. Uh, running it on the DS, any percent glitchless. Three hours, 35 minutes, 41 seconds. That's why I like glitchless runs. That's really what I'm into. But the world record is three hours, 35 minutes, and 41 seconds. That's awesome. And then the any percent, uh, which is not glitchless, so they can use glitches, is one hour, 59 minutes, 29 seconds. That's pretty cool. I don't know, I'm just really into the idea of, of, of speedrunning right now. But honestly, I, I think I need to find, like, an easier game to speedrun first. Like, like you know, like a solid, easy game so that way I can get used to doing it. But I think no matter what game it is, like, it's going to be easy for some people and, and difficult for other people. It's, it's games that you're good at. And games that you enjoy playing. Which Spider-Man for PS4 is a game that I enjoy playing. But it's like the thought of the, the current world record's four hours, so it's easily going to take me more than that. So it's like, how could I, how could I, I would have to do like a five hour stream. Witcher 3, oh, uh, let's, sh let's check the Witcher, let's, let's look it up. Speedrun, uh, Witcher 3. Uh, let's see here. Any percent current patch is, uh, current world record is two hours, 58 minutes, 22 seconds. Yeah. And, uh, from an older patch is 2 hours and 5 minutes 50 seconds. That's insane, actually. Uh, let's see, uh, speedrun for Hearts of Stone. 31 minutes 37 seconds is, this, is the world record. And Blood and Wine, 42 minutes 45 seconds. That's from 18 days ago. Hmm. Interesting. That could be a fun one to speedrun. Look at Old Patch, yeah, 2 hours 5 minutes, that's insane. That's insane. That could be a fun one to do as well. What do we have here? I'm often labeled as the scariest and coolest guy in Team Rocket. I strongly urge you not to interfere with our business. Guys, he's the strongest 
and the scariest, Mr. Executive Proton. You're the scariest guy in Team Rocket and you're out here rocking level 8 Pokemon? Like, Team Rocket would actually be a threat if they, like, you know, leveled up their Pokemon. Like, if they showed up with, like, level 50 Pokemon and, like, when I come in with, like, level 13 Pokemon, they would crush me. Can you imagine uh, a Pokemon game where it would make sense where, like, Team Rocket would actually have high-level Pokemon? Assassin's Creed Brotherhood? Ooh, let's look at Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Uh, Speedrun, Assassin's Creed, Brotherhood. Uh, any percent, uh, it's on PC with, a, with an SSD, uh, no SSD, 3 hours, 26 minutes, 16 seconds. 100% that's gonna there are no runs for 100% I oh, don't know there is a run it's 5 hours 53 minutes that was for no SSD what's like uh Odyssey just for fun because that's what I'm currently playing on my own time I'm just curious curious uh any percent is 3 hours 18 minutes 25 seconds it's actually not that long uh, 80% new game plus 2 hours, 31 minutes, 52 uh, seconds. Odyssey, uh, percent, I assume that means, oh no, Odyssey percent, so finishing Odyssey. Hmm. I don't know, it's, it's something, it's something I've been thinking about. I think it'd be fun, I think it'd be a fun stream thing to do. So we got the paralyzation on you, please don't hit me, thank you. I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be fun to get speed running. Getting over uh, it is like two minutes. But getting over it. Yes, getting over it is fun. <laughs> I've never played that. Level 14. Learn Thunder Wave. Ooh, that was a lot of XP for defeating that. For a kid to be this good? I didn't see it coming. Here's $480. Hmm. Team Rocket was indeed broken up three years ago, but we continued our activities underground. A small obstacle like you won't be much of a problem for our mission. I'd advise you to be very afraid of what's to come. Uh, it's the most rage-inducing game in the world? Oh, sounds great. Hey look, it's Kurt. Oh, way to go, Wiz. Team Rocket has taken off. My back's better too. Let's get out of here. I don't know why I give these people such gravelly voices that just hurts my own throat. So I'm gonna change his voice. Hi Wiz! You handle yourself like a real hero. As I mentioned before, Team Rocket was disbanded by a boy called Red three years ago. Now they have well, now that they have come back, I'm bad feeling about it. In any case, it would please me greatly to make Pokeballs for a trainer like you, Wiz. This is all I have now, but you know, take it. See, much better. Doesn't hurt my throat. Terrible accent, though. You have apricorns for me? Fine, I'll turn them into Pokeballs. Let's check it out. No, I've never seen this game before. No, I've never seen that game before. Uh... Sure, let's give him pink apricorns for funsies. And see what he makes with it. I'll take a day to make you- oh, well, okay. That's right, I'll give my, you my grandpa's number! And those might be love balls, actually. I forgot how- that it took, like, actual time. Oh, Liz is calling. Hello, this is- this is Chandler. Oh, hey, good afternoon, what's up? This is Liz! Oh, hey Liz, uh, not too much, uh, just- actually, I just met Kurt, he's gonna make some Pokeballs for me, what's up with you? Hi, Tiana, how are you? This is Liz, I'm fine, but I'm bored silly- no, 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 this, this is Wiz. Uh, huh? Oh, wrong number, oops, sorry! I thought she wanted to talk to me. Well... Now I'm sad. Now I'm sad. 
she called me and didn't even want to talk to me. Alright, let's go take on the gym. Move on to our next place to catch the Pokemon. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. I actually don't even know uh, what this what this gym typing is. Prove you store your Pokemon to full health. Uh, oh, it's a bug type gym. Oh, I do remember this gym actually. I do remember this gym. Uh, level 15 Pokemon. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah. I think we'll actually switch. Uh, we'll actually put Kulava up front here. And we should honestly just do some running. You know, just really go an aroundabout path to get to where we need to go. So that way this egg will hopefully hatch this episode as well. Yo, challenge up! Bugsy made this gym. It's a huge nest of Bug-type Pokemon. Bugsy's young, but he's a master of Bug-type Pokemon. It's gonna be tough without my advice. Hmm. Let's see. Bug-type Pokemon don't like Flyer. Fire? Flying-type moves are super effective, too. Yeah, why do you think I have a Fire-type following me right now? Uh, yeah, this is the one where you have to, like, follow the path here. I, I honestly can't remember which path is it's the right way. I think it's this one? No, it sure isn't. It show a. Uh, I, f I forgot how. Okay, so this path right here goes that way. This one, yeah. This one right here. <clears throat> I had to remember how this gym worked. Bug Pokemon evolve young so they don't get stronger that much faster. I hate Bug Pokemon. Honestly, Bug Pokemon are my least favorite type of Pokemon. Least favorite type. I love that this is the second gym and they still have level 7 Pokemon. Like, why don't you at least have like a level 10 Pokemon, my dude? Give me some XP. Kakuna. <clears throat> Probably has Weedle, Kakuna, Beedrill, if I had to guess. We should one-shot all of their Pokemon, too, considering we're level 16. We have Beedrill. Also, the plan in this run is also to get a Ditto at some point. And, uh, Ditto Kulava, or did at that point it'll be a Typhlosion. I uh, use my Ditto on Typhlosion, uh, so that way we can get uh, another Cyndaquil and Gulava and have them into the bank as well. In this game, with at least uh, that, since we won't be able to get any of the other starters right now. And then what I'll probably do is, my brother has a copy of Heart Gold, so I might use that at some point and just turn it on for a stream and just like get the get the Pokemon and trade them to this game. Might do that. I don't know. Uh, this just turns off the blue, yeah. So here we'll go... That'll put us to a trainer, so we don't want that. But if I go up right now, that'll put me to a double battle, which will then turn off blue. Or it'll turn, it'll turn off blue, so then we'll go... Because then we'll go backwards. And that'll turn off red. And once red is off, we'll get on to it. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's actually what we want to do. No, I lied. No, okay, I didn't lie. This is the right path. I'm 98% certain that this is the correct path. 98% certain. Is this a double battle? This is, right? Yeah, cool. Twins, Amy and Minnie. My godfather was so mad because I was lazy and used CNC for a lot of parts for furniture. He calls it cheating. <laughs> Hey, do what you gotta do. Imba! Super effective, of course it is. Hopefully Bell spread out speeds here. Cool. Just immediately put Lady Butt asleep, that way it can't even hurt us. And Ember. Vine Whip for fun. Makulov is the fastest one here and should one-shot. Oh, didn't one-shot. That's fine. Vine Whip then. 
I'm glad we ended up choosing Vine Whip and didn't choose a different move, because I was like, oh, we should have just chose Flash for fun. Alright, Bellsprout gets some XP here. No one levels up here. Getting a little bit dizzy, I'm sorry. It's kind of a cheap way to do it, but there's no way and I'll make it manually in seven days. Hey, that's fair. Gotta do what you can. Alright, so this should put us at the red level lever over here. We'll turn it off, and then we'll have a straight shot to the gym leader. Bugsy, what's up, my dude? We're here to challenge you. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug-type Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority on bug-type Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. And CNC has way better patience than me. Ooh, starting with your Scyther. Okay. Starting with your level 17 Scyther. Alright, that's fine with me. Yeah, you're going to get pumped. This won't one-shot. This will probably two-shot. Three-shot, okay. Unless we get a crit here. No, even if this crits, it probably still wouldn't take him out. But only a quick attack. That's not going to do too much. Too much damage here. Oh, it does critical. And we do knock out. We get the KO. Very nice, very nice. And we get a level from it as well. About to sit in Metapod. Metapod. Why, why am I dude out here with a Metapod as a gym leader? Why is a gym leader out here using a Metapod? Like, come on. Come on. Do better than that. Do better. About to sit in Kakuna. You, you, I, I'm, why do you have both a Metapod and a Kakuna as a gym leader? What are you doing? Please tell me what you're doing, my dude. My gosh. Like, that's, this is just sad. We don't get a level from it, that's fine. Aw, oh, that's the end of it. Yeah, it's because you suck. You're a terrible gym leader. Whoa, amazing. You're an expert on Pokemon. My research isn't complete yet, but okay, you win. Hey, take this badge. Got the Hive badge. Do you know the benefits of the Hive Badge? If you have it, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you, even traded ones. Pokemon that know Cut will be able to use it outside of battle too. Here, I also want you to have this. TM89. What is TM89? U-turn. It lets your Pokemon attack and then switch with the next Pokemon in your party. Isn't that great? I mean, you didn't use it, so... <clears throat> Alright, now we have to work our way back here. Because there's no just, like, easy way out. Actually, there is a super easy way out. The levers... He, he has the blue lever sitting right there to make it a, to make it an easy way out. We could have just flipped the blue lever and been back. Oh, well. Oh, well. It's fine. It's fine. We just wanted to take the scenic route. Uh, he's probably a baseball player because he's throwing so hard. <laughs> That, that explains it. We, you have cracked the case. He is a baseball player, which is the only reason he, sh he could be throwing so hard. Also, we keep streaming at the same time of the day, so it's always going to be the same time in-game. Which is fine, but it's also going to suck when we need some of those late Pokemon. Uh, Alright, so now we're heading to I Ix Forest, but I think we actually have a rival battle before then, because we haven't seen our rival in a while. Let's put our Mareep up front. I'm actually going to uh, throw Centret and hop it in the PC. Uh, and that joke we got banned for seven weeks. My wife was harassing people. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and deposit, hop it, and Centret. I'm not planning to use them. Uh, and we might end up picking up some more Pokemon. We have, we, oh, no, 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 not you. We have the other Mareep in there, so as soon as this Mareep evolves, we will, of course, have uh, two Mareeps. Or we'll have uh, a second encounter, or a second thing. I can't remember what Mareep evolves into off the top of my head. I can't think of the name. I can, I can, Ampharos is its final form, but I can't remember what its second is. Oh? Time to face Silver. Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? <laughs> what? <laughs> you beat them? Ha! <laughs> Quit lying. Are you serious? Let's see how good you are. Let's see. Like this, like my dude, we could be friends. 
Out here rocking your sick red hair. Lead with your Totodial? Oh, no, you love more Ghastly. I can't remember if electric types hit Ghastly. They do, okay. I can't rem I couldn't remember. Couldn't remember. Silver again, yeah, Silver out here beat him. Beat a dick. He has cursed me! That's fine. Should he be in jail? He should. The Officer Jenny should have found him by now for stealing that Pokemon. Officer Jenny's out here not doing well. Which actually, I don't think it was an Officer Jenny in this one. And we've been cursed. We are afflicted by the curse, but it's fine. Crocodile! No, we're actually we're not going to switch Pokemon because we're super effective. <clears throat> we are super effective here. He outspeeds, of course. That's fine. Bite shouldn't KO. Yeah. And this the Thunder Shock won't KO either because uh, of power. Ah, oh, shoot! I thought it was at least going to get him down to half damage. And the curse is still afflicting us. And he is going to outspeed us. Yeah, he's going to outspeed us here. Shoot. Alright, who do we come in with? An, uh, we'll come, oh, who do we come in with instead? Of course, we come in with Bellsprout. You're in charge, Bellsprout! Hit him with... Uh, let's actually do Sleep Powder. Let's actually put him to sleep here. Cool, he's got a scary face. That's fine. Drop my speed even more than it already is. I'm going to put you to sleep, though. So that way we can get uh, off a few free Vine Whips here. Hopefully he stays asleep for the full, like, four turns. Ah, sweet. Just stay asleep for one more. No, immediately wakes up. Immediately wakes up. Well, not immediately. We got one turn. That's fine. Our speed, he's just dropping our speed right now, which is fine. He already outspeeds us. I don't know why he's trying to make us that much slower. Uh, we'll go for another Vine Whip here. Another scary face. He's really trying to drop our speed, even though our speed... Is so much lower. What are you trying? What is your plan here, Silver? What is your plan? Croconaw has fainted. Bell's brought up to level 15. Six levels away from an evolution. Wants to learn Poison Powder. Ah! Uh, do we want Poison Powder? No, I don't want Poison Powder. Yeah, give up on learning Poison Powder. Shoot! Almost to level 16 from that. Will I switch Pokemon? We'll leave Bellsprout in. Might as well leave, leave Bellsprout in. Just for fun. Please. Say, you have a lot of nerve coming here. What do you mean, I have a lot of nerve coming here? You're the one who came up here and attacked me. I was just trying to freely leave the town. And then you're like, man, this seems like a great time to attack this guy. I should have known that. I knew that was going to be ineffective. Let's try and put him to sleep, actually. And we'll switch out to Kulava. Bellsprout use Sleeping Powder. Alright, let's go ahead and switch to Kulava here. Kulava. You know, the Q to the Lava. Either or, it doesn't really matter. Zubat is still asleep. Perfect. We should absolutely outspeed here. Uh, this might one-shot? No. That's fine. He keeps messing with his, with his Super Sonic, though. That's ridiculous. There's no way I could lose to a wimp like you. My dude, this is your second time losing to a wimp like me. When are you going to just realize that you're bad? You're not a good Pokemon trainer. Bell sprout up to level 16. Uh, we'll also remix the PC to our Pokemon Center to get our Mareep back healed up. Huh, <laughs> useless Pokemon. Listen, you only won because of my... I, I, it skipped for some reason. I think he was uh, insulting his Pokemon. What? Mareep is evolving?! Oh, what? I didn't expect this. Oh, no. What is going to happen? Guys, this is our 106th Pokemon. Because we have another Marie already in the bank. Already in our PC. Flaffy. That's what it is, right? Yep, Flaffy. I remembered it last second, right when I saw the Pokemon. I was like, Flaffy, that's what you are. I hate the weak. Pokemon, trainers, it doesn't matter who or what. I hate to see them hanging around. That goes for Team Rocket, too. They think they're big and tough as long as they're in a group. They get them alone and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. You won't be an exception if you get in my way. Aren't you weak? So shouldn't you, in turn, hate yourself? Dude, Anthony's calling. Hello? Sup? 
This is Anthony. How are you? Dude, I'm doing pretty good. I actually just uh, finished facing uh, Bugsby. Just got a new gym badge. Hey, the other day I was watching my Machop eat some berries. Okay, yeah. Okay, and? It looked like he was enjoying its meal, so I decided to try some. I'm not sure if people should eat that stuff, but it was delicious. Yeah, um, I mean, it's just like a berry. Like, it's it's not, like, harmful to humans or anyway. Uh, all right, then. Be good. Uh, why does no one ever... They just... People just call me to say stuff to me. They never let me talk to them. They always just talk at me like I can't respond. So upsetting. So upsetting. Bum bum. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. I'll take my Pokemon. Thank you for waiting. Thank you. Flaffy's feeling better, so you decided to take Flaffy with you. Uh, I think we actually move... We don't need Flaffy up front anymore, because we were just trying to get them some... Actually, they're our lowest Pokemon, so we will keep them up front. I was like, I only had them up front so they can evolve. Elix Forest is big. Be careful. Don't get lost. The forest is watched over by its protector. Stay out of mischief. Mischief managed. Tee hee, tee hee. Ilic Forest. Alright, let's see the available Pokemon here. Alright, we got Weedle. Don't care about. We got Kakuna. Don't care about. We got Paris and Onish. Don't care about. Why are all of these Pokemon... Why do they all suck? All right, if we if we could headbutt, I think I think we have to know the move headbutt though. Uh, but if we could headbutt, we could encounter Hoot Hoot uh, or Noctowl or Pineco, all of which would be new encounters. But we don't know the move headbutt I, unless we learn it in this forest. Otherwise, we don't care about any Pokemon in here. Oh man, my boss is gonna be angry. The Farfetch that cuts up trees for charcoal took off in the forest. Could you catch them for me? Farfetch to have sensitive ears. Yeah, they'll face towards you. That's your chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha, mate. I gotcha. Yeah, none of the wild encounters in this forest are going to be anything new for us. Uh, and they're all going to be lower levels, so we're not going to try and even grind on them. Farfetch, notice you. It seems to face the direction of noise when you step on a branch. Bum, bum. Cool! You snuck up and caught it from behind before it noticed you. Wow, you found Farfetch, thank you. But there is one more missing. You've said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, you don't have to remind me. Yep, you don't have to remind me. Thank you, my dude. We'll go catch the other Farfetch. It's pretty Farfetch to think. All right, what do we got here? A Weedle. Like seriously, I know there are only like 100 new Pokemon in Generation 2, but I'd like to see some of them. Was found to revive. Bum bum bum. Uh, where is this far-fetched at? Oh, he's right there. Oh, uh, which means, oh, actually, 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 yeah, we go up there, we hit that, and we turn back around. <coughs> Pum, 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 pum. That was a, that was weird. Oh, we need to come up behind it though. Yeah, we have to come up behind it. That doesn't doesn't count. Uh, let's. Can I have you turn this way? You can. You can. But then when I go that way. Oh, no, 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 I got it. Yeah, 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 I got it. Weedle! Weedle, go away, would you? We do this right here. And then we come back around. Easy. Look at us solving, solving children, children's games. Out here, solving a children's game. Pum, 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 pum. I'll step in that one now. Claw! Um. Wow, you got both of them. Thank you so much. My boss's Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a badge. Phew. You saved me. Hey, look, there's your boss. He's gonna come yell at you. Maybe give me cut. 
My far and fetched! You found them for us, kid. Without them, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now how can I thank you? Oh, I know. Here, take this. Paint cut. At the HM cut, teach them to a Pokemon to clear small trees. Of course, you have to have the gym badge from Azalea to use it. Which we do have. So sweet. Let's see who we can teach this to. I know for sure, uh... Bellsprout can learn it. Huh. I always lose six pounds when it's tournament week because I don't eat anything that week till Sunday. Only water and tea. Gulab can also learn. That's fair. I need to lose some weight. I honestly really need to lose some weight. Uh, we'll get rid of Wrap, probably. Because right, we need to keep Flash. Because we just gave it to him because I thought that was going to be the next place we went. <clears throat> but I, I could I could stand to lose some weight. This tree looks like it can be cut down. Would you like to cut it? Yes, I would. Because now we're in Generation 2 where we can just walk up and click stuff and it'll, it'll cut. Look, at Celebi's thing. It's a tribute to the Force's Protector. Celebi. Pum, pum. Oh, oh, there is an item there. Was found the X attack. I was hoping I was hoping we found Headbutt in this forest, but I, I guess we don't. My friend lost a hundred pounds in three months. That's impressive. Flaffy seems to be relaxed as it hears the sound of rustling leaves. That's super impressive. I've been like sitting at the same weight for like the past like five or six years. <clears throat> so I've been like put on a ton of weight. And even in quarantine, I haven't put on that much weight. Because I, uh, after, after I finish stream, every day, uh, around like 7 o'clock, uh, but normally on four days a week it's after I finish streaming, I go for like a 30 to 40 minute walk. So that way I'm just keeping myself moving is my, is my point in doing it, is just to keep some movement going since right now I'm, I'm just sitting a lot. Oh yes, it is the, uh, no girl, uh, lost all... Lost and all alone. Poor girl lost in the dark island forest. What? You remember me from Violet City? You must be imagining. Anyway, will you show me out of this forest? You will? Aren't you lost in the forest as well? How do you know how to get out of here? Look, my Flaffy knows the way. It's over there. Oh, wow. Are you going to show me how to get out? You are such a smart Pokemon. Uh, see you. Alright. Thanks, Flaffy. Our large forward looks like it can be headbutted. Yep, we don't have headbutt though. Once we do have headbutt though, it is over for these trees. Absolutely over for these trees. Although I don't really have a Pokemon right now that I want to teach headbutt to. Gotta wait safely. I think that's the exit right there, isn't it? Paris! But we already have you. So we don't need you. Uh, yeah, just trees to be headbutted. A lot of Pokemon in here that we don't need. And honestly, I don't plan to re-catch any Pokemon that I don't need. Uh, there's, there'd only be a few that I'd be... that I could be talked into catching. Like a Gengar, I could always be talked into re-getting through Ghastly, but for the most part, I'm going to try and stay away from Pokemon that I already have. Oh, honey, you're making a Pokédex. You must be battling all kinds of Pokémon. Try using this TM for a change. Is that Headbutt? Oh, it's Taunt. Okay. Did you see the shrine that pays homage to the Protector? The Protector walks over the forest from time to time. The thing about it, I must be a Grass-type Pokémon. <clears throat> it's a UN diet. Uh, fruit for breakfast, one apple. Lunch and dinner are the same. Just dinner a half... Half and no bread. I like eating too much. I like eating too much. I, that's why I just can't do it. North to Goldenrod, the radio tower. Goldenrod is giving away uh, radio cards. They answer their questions to receive a radio card. Uh, we also can get an Eevee in Goldenrod Town, which will count as a new encounter, because right now in our living decks we only have a Flareon. First day is protein day. You eat one protein type for lunch and drink stock, and you are allowed one slice of vinegar bread. Second day is a starch day, so potato beet... Pa potatoes. Can't say potatoes. Peas and green beans, etc. 
I just don't know. I just or something like that. I went uh, a, a guy I went to college with uh, was like super into into uh, like dieting and like like he was in great shape. Don't get me wrong. Like this dude was in amazing shape, but he like always had like a protein shake or stuff like that. And it just looked disgusting. I wasn't even paying attention to what we were fighting here, so I threw uh, I threw a, an electric move at a ground type. Third day is carbohydrates day. You eat pasta, pizza, or something from the bakery. Right, we're going to switch out here. Uh, I don't have a water type yet. I need to pick up a water type. <clears throat> and cookies, brownies, or something like that for dinner. I can get behind that. I can get behind that. Just the third day, though. The first two days don't sound great. The third day sounds great. Fourth day is only one piece of fruit for lunch and dinner. I'd be so starved. And I say that as someone who, like, has never been starved a day in their life. Because I, I live in a... I've had a great life. I repeat for 28 days, then water day. That's a lot. We'll just leave Kulava in. I know uh, Flappy would also one-shot these guys, but just don't waste the time. Just get it done. Get it done. Player defeated, Youngster Samuel. I just got my Pokemon back from daycare. Let's see how much stronger it got. Are we already close to the daycare? Is the daycare around this area? Oh, we also didn't look at what Pokemon are on this route. Uh, the daycare is on this route. It's at the top of this route. What available Pokemon are here? <clears throat> uh, biggest problem is an apple for breakfast. Never eat apple on an empty stomach. Why is that? Does it hurt real bad or does it make it throw up? Uh, oh, we can, we can encounter Ditto here? We can already, there's a 5% chance for a Ditto on this route. Okay. All right. It'll make you hungry, really, really hungry. Ugh. Yeah, there's already a chance for a Ditto on this route. That's insane. Then that's really the only Pokemon we want. To, otherwise, on this route, there's Drowsy, Rattata, Abra, which we don't care about any of them. Uh, well, you aren't gonna be useful. Switch to Kulava. Uh, and then of course, Headbutting will get us some Pokemon we actually need, but we don't have Headbutt yet. Cool. Good to know. And if you need to make it five hour pause between meals, so... I, I, I could not do that. I could not do that. I do not have the, the willpower to make it through something like that. <clears throat> I usually eat one meal a day and it's like three, uh, 35 to 4,000. That sounds like... I had McDonald's for lunch, so... That's probably all of those calories right there. Uh, we'll run through the grass and see if we happen to come across a ditto. It'd be great to go ahead and catch one and already have it, but it, it, it's very unlikely that we will see it because it's only a 5% encounter. It'll probably be something I'll come and do off camera and just hunt this route and just look for ditto. Uh... I'll probably actually end up doing that in between episodes as I'll, as I'll catch Ditto, because Ditto won't be a new encounter for us. And I'll go ahead and put it into the... Uh, and, I, and I'll just go ahead and get uh, get another egg going so we have another Cyndaquil. Because that's just an, an additional encounter, honestly. And Cyndaquil evolved so quickly, so we could actually evolve it really quickly. It's like four pounds of steak. Whew. My gosh, it's a lot of steak. Drowsy, so many drowsies. Which is how I always feel. I'm in a constant state of drowsiness. I do need to get into like some better like exercising other than just going for a walk, so that way I, I do actually have energy. Uh, and am actually in decent shape. Because honestly, I don't I don't care to be super I, I don't care I don't need to be super skinny because I just know that I that's an unrealistic ex expectation for myself, is to get myself super skinny. Uh, but I'd like to, like, slim up a little bit, uh, is really just about it, and also just some higher stamina for, like, 
running and stuff like that. But I need to just actually do it. Best decision of my life is making a gym in the basement. Bum, 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 bum. Like I have some uh like some weights and stuff out in the garage that were my uh my dad's that he's just storing here. Like including like a weight bench, but it's just I've just never been able to do it. Drowsy, drowsy up here. We'll give this uh we'll give this a few more encounters to see if we encounter Ditto. If not, like I said, I'll just come in off camera and just search for Ditto. We'll, we'll give it one more Pokemon. We'll, we'll go one more Pokemon, see if we encounter Ditto. Like, honestly, Gen 2 has been so much slower for us. There's Ditto, sweet. Gen 2 has been so much slower for us getting encounters because we're we're just straight up only... There's only 100 new uh, uh, Gen 2 Pokemon, so it's, it's just so rare for us to actually see one. So that's why we're moving so much slower through Gen 2, but I think it'll pick up later on. I'm 6'8", 240 pounds. I am 5'11", 240 pounds. So that's why, like, I'm not super overweight, but I, I, I like, am genuinely overweight. Cool. Go ahead and throw a Pokeball at him. Catch this Ditto, we're right next to the daycare, so then we go, hey, can you take this Ditto off of me that I just caught outside? I don't need it. And depending on how fast we can get an egg, we might throw it in there and just try and get an egg real fast. Cool, now it's paralyzed and low health. Let's throw, we have a great ball. Let's throw a great ball at it. We did pick up a great ball earlier today. This should catch. Sweet. All right, let me actually look here. Soul Silver, uh... How many steps uh, for uh, egg at daycare? Like, how many steps does it take to get the daycare? After you walk 255 steps, you have a chance of getting an egg. One thing different is that if you talk to the daycare man, he'll let you get his Pokegear number, and you can check on your Pokemon calling him when you're far away from the daycare. Okay. You have a nickname to the caught Ditto? No. He's not going into our living decks, but still no. Grandpa! Oh, this is Lyra's grandpa. I forgot about that. Uh, good work, Grandpa. The Pokemon you raised for me has been as healthy as can be. Hey, you look fit too! Oh! Hi, Wiz! Let me introduce you. This is Wiz. He's a trainer. He seems to be getting better at raising Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, not as good as you, Grandpa, of course. Grandpa hasn't said anything at this point. He's just like, mm hmm, yep, yep, yep. Follow me, Wiz. I was already planning on going in here, but thanks for the walkthrough, I guess. Grandma, let me introduce my friend. This is Wiz. Uh-huh. This is your boy, friend. I see. Hmm. Uh, what? Grandma, what are you talking about? He just happens to live nearby. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Since you brought him here, Lyra, you must be sure about his talent. Right, Wiz? Come and see us anytime. Well, I better go now. Uh, see ya. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, this is my Pokegear number. Dude, we just got our number. You can talk to your Pokemon as they follow you. They do all sorts of cute stuff on the road and in towns. I'm taking notes every time they do funny things. Give me a call and I'll share some of them with you. Grandma, don't you say anything. We're both trainers and we're supposed to exchange numbers. That's all. Grandma? I'm the daycare lady. Uh, yes, raise Pokemon for me. Which Pokemon should be raised for you? Take this Ditto and I never want it back. I never want this Ditto back. Uh, yeah, raise another Pokemon for me. I'm gonna go ahead and throw, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw Kulava in here. It's 255 steps for the chance for an egg. So here's what we're going for here. This is what we're doing here. Every grade ever, right? Okay, he's gonna give me his number. I'm gonna have to uh, check on the Pokemon to raise for you. Yeah. Cool, so we got his number. We need to take 255 steps. So how many steps is it in this route? Calls from time to time to give your Pokemon a raise. I'll be happy to use this for Poke Years my grandchild gave me. What do we got here? One, two, let me turn off running real fast. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, we haven't fought this guy. Oh, shoot. As I was getting closer, I'm pretty sure we fought this guy. All right, so that's 16 right there. Uh, so let, let's see. What is... What is 255 divided by 16? 15 times. So if we run that back and forth 15 times, we have a chance for an egg. Mankey! Dude, you got a primate I can have? It's actually not very much. Two, uh, 255 steps. That's not too bad. <clears throat> I did not think that was going to do that much damage. So basically what I'm trying to do here is go ahead and get ourselves a Cynical Egg. And then if we can hatch that Cynical Egg, that's just a new encounter. About to sit in Diglett. Keep battling. Ian sent out Diglett. Diglett, use Sand Attack. Flaffy's accuracy fell. Oh, it doesn't affect Diglett. I knew it didn't, too. We, we do need to get ourselves a, <clears throat> a Water-type Pokemon very soon. We need, we need a strong Water-type Pokemon. Uh, and I don't know what Gen 2 strong Water-type Pokemon we get early on here. You know what? Actually, we don't have a Gyarados in our living decks yet. Now that I think about it, we don't have a Gyarados in our living decks yet. Or a Magikarp, for that matter. I don't think we have a Magikarp in our living decks yet, either. Let's see, what are actually the... Level 10 over here for Magikarp. So we should actually catch ourselves a Magikarp. Catch ourselves two Magikarp. If you transferred in my class, I'd become the second best student in my class, wouldn't I? Yeah, would you trade phone numbers with me? Yeah, no. Not my dude. Wait, don't tell me you're serious about transferring into my school. I am super serious about it. Alright, if we do this run right here 15 times, so that's two. Three. We're going 15. Four. Five. And we're adding some extra steps in here, so it's not too much. Right, it's, it, it, should, it should make it even easier there. We're just adding in some extra steps here to just really make sure we'll have a chance at an egg here as we, as we go around here. So that's seven. And we're going for 15. Which should be enough. So the extra steps we're adding, that we'll probably do probably 14 and check on it. Oh? Oh, sweet! Our other egg's hatching! Guys, we about to have ourselves a Togepi! Togepi hatched from the egg! And we're up to 107 Pokemon. Let me go ahead and update my living decks here. Uh, Toka Toka Togepi. Togepi's a great Pokemon, honestly. Uh, where's Togepi at here? Togepi's early on. Uh, there's Togepi right there. And then we also have Toka Tick. So we'll have to, we'll honestly be using our Ditto a lot in this run. We'll be using our Ditto a lot in this run. Uh, give a nickname? No. Professor Elm's calling. How did he know? <clears throat> Hello? Hey, Wiz, that's great news. A Pokemon hatched from that egg. Yeah, I was literally about to call you and tell you that a Pokemon hatched from that egg. How did you already know? I knew that giving that egg to you was the right thing to do. I just knew it. Yeah, but how did you know that the egg was about to hatch? You should come here and show me what kind of Pokemon it is. Okay, I'll be there at some point. Like, he just hangs up on me. I'm just trying to have a good conversation with these people, and they just hang up on me. And I also forgot what count I was on. I want to say I'm on, like, 10. I want to say I'm on, like, 10. Let's just check in. Your Ditto and Quilava are doing just fine. The two don't seem to like each other much. Why don't they like each other very much? Why don't they like each other? I need them to like each other so that way they'll bang and give me an egg. I need them to like each other a lot. And this is when we find out that, like, Ditto and, and uh, Starters aren't compatible. For whatever reason. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, that's like 12. Once we, once we get back up here, once we get back up to him again, we'll check on him. And see if we've got an egg yet. <clears throat> I 
Ah, oh, good to see you, Ditto and Kulava are doing just fine. The two don't seem to like each other very much. Why? Uh... Take your Pokemon that don't like each other. Breeding Pokemon that don't like each other. Is it normal a lot? Practically everything should get along with Ditto unless it can't breed. If it says they prefer to play with others, then you'll be fine. Oh, if it doesn't say they prefer to play with others, then you'll be fine. Uh, more importantly, time varies depending on how much they like each other, but not very time long or anything. You don't need to manipulate or clock for it. It's based on steps. Just get on your bike and ride around until there's an egg. Yeah, I don't have... <clears throat> That's how it goes, provided they're in the same anger. Pokemon's from different languages. Pokemon from different OTs, but the same language. Pokemon's from the same OT. Don't go catching other dittos. Trade for one to sweeten the deal for Espeon. That's not what I need, mean, though. Yeah, F. F and chat. Okay, it seems like there, there's still a chance. It's just a lower chance since they don't like each other. But that is the 255 steps needed. Give me an egg. I want to take Kulava with me, but I also would really like to have that egg as well. I'd really like to have that egg as well. It's fine. It's fine. I, I can do this. I can do this off camera. So we'll, we'll check in one more time. Oh, sweet! Yes, give me that egg. There we go. We did it. <clears throat> No, no, no. I'm sure we'll find another one. I'm definitely sure of it. Wiz, if we're looking after your Pokemon and notice one holding out, would you like me to contact you by phone? Well, yes, absolutely. You can leave it up to us. Any Pokemon you'd like to have raised, you can leave in my wife's care. Absolutely call me. Sweet. All right, so we got our egg. Uh, by level, your Ditto has grown by about two. By level, your Kulava has grown by about one. Yes, I want my Pokemon back. Give me my now level 20 Kulava. <laughs> Excellent. Here's your Pokemon. Uh, no, you can keep Ditto. Ditto can live with you forever. Uh, does... I haven't checked. What do you have? Uh, you're sassy. You have Blaze. Blaze speeds up green, doesn't it? No, it's Flame Body. <sighs> Flame Body, uh, speeds up hatching. That's fine, though. We'll still switch you up front just for fun. And then we'll switch the egg second just for fun, just to see if that helps. Honestly, this shouldn't be anywhere... Well, it doesn't seem close to hatching at all. No, it shouldn't. And then we have our level 1 Togepi that we'll have to... We'll give some levels to. Uh, let's, uh, key items. Uh, old rod. Register. Alright, we'll go ahead and register that there. Just to... Ch I'm fairly certain we never ended up getting Magic Cart. I just want to check. Because I don't think we did. Yeah, we never got a magic card and we never got a Gyarados. <clears throat> so we'll try and catch a magic card here, as well as uh, land in a Pokemon. It's a 95% chance for magic card, 5% chance for Krabby. Cool, we'll pull the 5% chance for a wild Krabby to appear. Fairly certain we already have Krabby though. Pretty sure we have Krabby and Kingler already. We do, yeah. So we are, we're just going to run from you. Bam, bam. I don't know why I ran away from the water and then ran back to it. <clears throat> so we're planning to catch two magic carps here because these magic carps will be level 10. Uh, so I only need 10 levels to evolve it into a Gyarados. Uh, I'm going to need to be able to up for five hours. So hey, thanks for stopping by. Have a great night. Thanks for stopping by. Bum, bum. Uh, we'll go with Ember because it... This might KO him just from power alone. No, it actually puts him perfect. If that was critical, though, it'd KO. But nothing happened. All right, bag. Go ahead and throw. Uh, could throw a lure, lure ball, but I think a Pokeball will do fine here. Uh, probably won't be able to catch streams next week. Yeah, because yeah, your tournament. No worries. Be sure uh, after the tournaments, come back. Tell me how you did. Magic Carp was caught. 108 Pokemon in our living decks. Catching Gen 1 Pokemon that we needed. And we'll go ahead and catch another one as well, just so that way it's sitting in our in our uh, PC for when we evolve this one. Bum, bum. 
Not even a nibble. Okay, then. There we go. Landed a Pokemon! Another match card. What a surprise! Uh, go ahead and hit him with another Ember here. Please don't crit. That one didn't even crit. That one just killed. It didn't even crit, it just killed. It's fine, we can throw a Lure Ball at it and probably have a pretty good chance of catching it without even damaging it. Because that is the good thing about as we get further into Pokemon generations, we get better Pokeballs that make it easier to catch Pokemon, which is pretty cool. Go Kulava! Go Lure Ball! Catching Pokemon hooked by Rod when fishing. Oh, shoot, okay. So hoping we were at least gonna get two two shakes out of it. Uh, who do we have here? Who do we have that we could trade to, that we could sh uh, shift to? Honestly, Fla Fla Flaffy's tackle's pretty weak. So we'll go for Flaffy's tackle here. Which is pretty weak. Dude, this Magikarp is outspeeding Flaffy. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect right there. What up uh, a couple more tackles here? Paralyzed and can't move, of course. Why would you make it easy on me, game? But nothing happened. <clears throat> uh, let's just go ahead and throw a Pokeball at it now. Go, Pokeball! The, again, this Magic Sharp is uh, strictly just to sit in the PC. So that way when we do catch our... <clears throat> that way when we do evolve our other one, uh, we'll go ahead and... Uh, Gyarados will just count as a new encounter. Use our last Lure Ball here. This should catch. Thank you. Magikarp was caught! Sweet. Bum, 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 Uh, oh, no, 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 I don't want to give a nickname to you. I, ch I changed my mind. I don't want to nickname you. All right, we have a couple more people that we can fight here. Uh, I don't want to hide that. Uh, and then we go into Goldenrod City. Uh, Goldenrod City, we can get an Eevee. I'm fairly certain I remember getting an Eevee. Uh, we also have the Goldenrod Department Store here. Uh, yes, yeah, so there is... There is a gifted Eevee that we'll get. That's level 5. Uh, and then we can trade a Drowsy for a Machop, but we don't need that. We don't need that at all. Uh, so no, no worries to even get that there. Uh, and then we have the Department Store here. Largest store in Johto. Uh... Bum, 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 bum. Let's see here. That's the department store. The game corner is also here. Uh, where we can get a Dratini. I forgot the game corner was here. Uh, players can visit by playing the new Voltorb Flip game. This game features a 5x5 five five grid of tiles underneath which are numbers, which multiply the current score in Voltorb, which self destruct, dropping the score to zero. Total number of points in Voltorb in each set of five cards is noted on the edge of the field. The game advances to more difficult level. Once all of the two times and three times multiple players have been found. Uh, higher level games give the player a chance to win several hundred coins at a time. Ooh. Because this would actually be really good to do. So we'll actually look into this game corner before we wrap up today. Because we could get ourselves a Dratini, which we need. We need Dratini because uh, we don't have a, uh, a Dragonair or a Dragonite. We only have a Dratini in our living decks right now. Uh, they also have Flamethrower as a TM that we can pick up. That's 10,000 coins, so not very likely. Uh, and then a couple of held items, but... Yeah. Uh, and then if after... So Bill the Inventor... Uh, he's currently away on business. Oh, okay. After meeting him, oh, he returns to Golden Rump. So we don't get an Eevee yet. We get an Eevee once he returns. Yeah, we don't get an Eevee until he returns. That's fine. That is fine. Uh, um, and we get our bicycle in this town. 
That's good to know. And then there is the just the gold rudge in here. Cool. Good information to have here as we head into this town. We're going to try and avoid these trainers here. There we go. Only a few trainers there. I know I said we were going to try and hit up all the trainers as we go, but... We're going to be wrapping up fairly soon here. I at least want to mess around in the... Uh, in the... Uh, <clears throat> Game Center for a minute. Fum, fum, fum. So Token people probably sit on our team for a little bit here. Uh, so I'm honestly in between in between uh, streams when we come back. I plan to have Token be up to a similar level as the rest of us. Uh, I'll probably train up Magikarp a little bit too, but I won't evolve them. I'll do that on stream with you guys. And then we have our egg right here, which I'll... I'll, I'll I want to hash it, but I don't want to do it off camera. So I may put it away while I'm grinding up the other two because I don't want to hash it off camera because it is a new encounter, and I want to I want all the encounters to be recorded. Of course, is this the game center? Yeah. Do I have to have a, a game case to play? My name is Mr. Game. My heart pounds with excitement when people enjoy my coin game. In fact, it's what I live for. You look like quite a challenger. Why don't you play my coin game? You can get family fabulous prizes if you manage to collect a lot of coins. Yes. All right, here's your coin case. Sweet, thank you. I was hoping we get it fast. All right, let's play the game. Show me how you play and make my hunt pound with excitement. Play Voltor Flip level one. Let's get game info here. Uh, hint. The numbers on the side of the board give you a clue about the numbers uh, hidden on the backs of the panel. The larger the number, the more likely that there are large numbers hidden in that row or column. Emerson, what is up? And the same way I can tell you how many Voltorb are hidden in that row or column. Consider the hidden number totals and Voltorb numbers as you flip over panels. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's play. Alright, so you guys are mostly going to see it on the screen above me. Uh, so, like, in this row, it shows that there are zero Voltorbs. So we should just be fine to flip all of these. Which is only giving us one coin, so... Uh, there's only- there's one Voltorb here. Oh shoot, we can kind of track this here. So there's one Voltorb here, but there are zero Voltorbs in this row right here. So this one is safe. That one's safe to flip there. Uh, there are zero Voltorbs here, so that's safe. Actually, all of these are safe to flip. All of these are safe to flip here. That's fine there, too. Cool. All right, so there are two Voltorbs remaining in these four here. And there's one remaining here. There's four here, so I feel like it's right here. Nope, it was right there. Does this re does this end my game when I, when I blow up a Voltorb? It does. Shoot. Okay, this, uh, this is pretty tough, actually. All right, we got three coins. That's actually... Difficult. Uh, Alright, so there's one here. There are two in this row. I'm gonna flip it. Oh, sweet, we got nine coins. I don't I don't know if there's uh, is there like a good let, let's look up Soul Silver uh Voltorb flip solver flip guide. Let's look up the flip guide. Let's just learn how to play this game. <clears throat> how do I win? Uh, rule number one, no Voltorb. Simple and straightforward here. Basically, the first thing you do is always look at the Voltorb numbers and if there are any rows of Voltorbs at all. If the row has no Voltorbs, flip over the whole world. That's what we've been doing. Uh, you may notice a 5-0 column uh, will only give you ones anyways and don't think it's better. Uh, but do it. It will both prevent you from falling too far if you lose and serve as a reminder that you know what these squares contain. Yes. <clears throat> Do any of these are only... Uh, no, none of these are five Voltorb, so we're fine there. Uh... Yeah. Four Voltorb. Like, there's no giveaway... I think it's honestly, I think it's honestly just straight up luck. Yeah, I think it's honestly just straight up luck here. 
I don't think like the the color connection has anything to do with anything. I, I, I don't. I, at least I don't feel like it does. Uh, let's flip that one for fun. Like we could just do random flips here, right? So there there's one in this top row up here, and there's one on the furthest left. Or there are two in the furthest up and down row. So the likelihood of it being these two places is low. Or it's there. Okay, this is this is this is freaking difficult. We aren't good at this game. All right, there's zero here. We aren't good at this game at all. I was like, oh, this will be this will be easy. We'll, we'll get some coins. But we only get these coins. I I, I think we <sighs> immediately flip the full orb. Let's look at this end screen here. And no no no! I wanted to look at it. I wanted to look at it to see if we could learn anything from it. That's fine. I want to learn from this. All right. So we can kind of see there the top row being three. I don't think we learn anything from that, actually. Or does it mean like 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 blue is zero, so anything touching a blue has cannot have anything in it? Or like pink is a zero, so anything touching pink cannot have anything in it. And if it's touching like yellow, it could there could be one. I don't I don't understand how you're supposed to, if there is like an actual way to like look at a board and go, oh, I this is easy. Like, I, I truly don't know if that is exists. Let's see if three coins. Because <clears throat> if that's the case, then, th then anything blue touches can't have anything. And if we're going off that logic, anything blue touches here. Which, no, that wouldn't make any... That wouldn't make sense here because... Well, no, blue doesn't touch these two right here. So if that's the case, this couldn't have a Voltorb in it. All three of those have Voltorbs in them. Oh, because I it, it said there were three. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid there. We knew where the three Voltorbs were. Okay, I feel like it's made it even easier for me now, because now it's given me three rows that have zero Voltorbs in it, so it's like it's trying to make it easier for me. It's like, just give them the win. Just give them a win, please. Uh, okay, so, like, there are two Voltorbs in this up and down here. So I'm gonna go with the less likely that it's here. Nope, that's it. It's there. I should've went up. Oh my gosh. That sucks. I just wanna, I just wanna win one. That's all, I just wanna win one, with, like, one level one, and just feel like I'm doing something correctly. <laughs> Let me feel like I'm doing something correctly here. Let's go randomly. Okay, so it's either this one, there's one in this row, or there are three in this row. So I'm gonna go with the chance of it being here. Okay, so we're done with this row. We know that this is a Voltorb. Which means that up and down, we know there is a Voltorb here. All right, so up in this row, we know that the one Voltorb in this row I'm gonna hope it's here in this three row. So I'm gonna unlock this one right here. And then I'm also gonna unlock this one right here. So then we know that this is a Voltorb right here, which is one of the ones in this blue row right here. And there are three in this row. So if we find out where the last, there's a Voltorb there, so that's one Voltorb. If these two are clear, theoretically these two should be clear. So there's a Voltorb here, there's a Voltorb here, and is there a Voltorb right here or right here? One of these two spaces is a Voltorb, and one of them I have to flip. So let's come back to that. <clears throat> so if we know one of these two for sure are Voltorbs, 
one of these could be Voltorb. This is a Voltorb, so this is one of the three here. So it comes to the same thing. There's one on this row here, so it can either be right here or right here. It's it's all luck at this point. It's all straight up luck here. Flip it. So close. Almost pulled off a win there. Can someone just can can you just tell me how to just win? If you, I, I know if you quit, you, you get the coins that you earn, but I want to win for Rizzles. There are 7 minute, 20 minute videos on how to win. Okay, we'll play this one more time. We'll play this one more time. I'll just come on here and grind. I won't. This is the only zero row. Now it took away giving me a zero row. It said, no, screw you. Uh, okay. It's like Minesweeper, but harder. It is. Can you just make, can you just give me Minesweeper? I could win Minesweeper. We haven't even gotten past level one. We haven't gotten past level one. How sad is that? How sad is that that we haven't gotten past level one? All right, we have 18 coins. Yes, we're gonna quit with my 18 coins. Absolutely. We okay. Th this is the way to do. We just gotta slowly pile up coins here until we get enough coins to you know buy buy something. Which I think buying Dratini is actually a lot. Okay, we got 24 coins. We're gonna quit here as well. Oh my gosh. You're giving me too much coins to make me like want to go like yeah I need to I need to end now. Alright, we're back on another we'll try and do this one all the way through. Cause this is another one with this has three zero lines for me. So the likelihood of me being able to clear, clear this one is very high. Okay, so. We know that there's one Voltorb in this up and down here. There's one on this row right here, but there are two in the far row over there. There's three in the row next to me, so I'm going to guess it's not here. I'm going to guess the Voltorb is right here. I'm going to guess this is a Voltorb. Which means this right here is clear. Nope. That was a bad guess. Incorrect guess. See, that's it. It's like I'm just out here making guesses. And they're incorrect guesses. You're just like, yes, this is what my educated guess tells me. And it's like, no, you're wrong. You're incorrect. Quit making educated guesses, because they're not good guesses. Alright, uh... Sure, let's flip this. That's a Voltorb, okay. Okay. Hey, at least this doesn't cost money to play, because if this costed money to play, we would just be out of all of our money. Like what kind of what kind of gambling site are you running where like you pay my you pay people to play your gambling? We're just so bad at this. Like let me I have custom firmware on my on my DS, let me just like install something that allows me to cheat here. That was my only zero row. Sure, immediately the Voltorb. Alright, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I'm done. No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm absolutely done. Ralph is calling me. What do you want, Ralph? Hey, I don't care. I don't care because you... I don't know. I'm not even listening to what you're saying. I'm not even listening to what you're saying, Ralph, because I hate you. What a feeling! Nothing beats a corn game. Oh, that's right. Change it with two... Pro oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, okay, we Welcome! We exchange your coins for fabulous gifts. Uh, so Dratini is 2,100 coins. Your party's full, please <laughs> it's it, He doesn't even tell me that I have too little money. He's just like, yeah, your party's full. That way he, like, he feels like he's being nicer to me. He just tells me my party's full. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. 
Thanks for just telling me my party's full. Like, that's what you're telling me. <sighs> Alright guys, this is where we're going to go and wrap up for today. We only added five more mons to our counter. Uh, but such is uh, such is the way of Gen 2. That, that's just how Gen 2 is going to treat us. It only added... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's 100 on the dot, but let me check. Yeah, because we go to 251 total Pokemon here. Uh, so with so few added, it makes sense. Actually, yo, hold up before we wrap this up. Where's the bike shop at? <clears throat> yeah, I know we can't go into the gym right now. Is this the bike? No, that's the underground pass. This isn't the bike shop, is it? That's the name raider. Uh, this is the bike shop here, right? No, this is the flower shop. Where is the bike shop at? Because we can get a free bike. And we might be able to hatch this uh, Cynic Will before we finish up here. Is it over here? Is this the bike shop? Yeah. <clears throat> I opened a branch here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? Uh, really? That'd be great. Give me your name and phone number and I'll loan you a bicycle. Absolutely, my dude. That's all I have to do is give you my name and phone number and I can ride a bicycle? Absolutely, I'll give you my name and phone number. Uh, bicycle, go ahead and register that as well. And bicycle. Nope, I didn't want to go in here! I didn't want to go into these random people's house. Bicycle. <clears throat> Almost ran into a trainer battle there. I think if we if we run this up a little bit, we should. Where's like a back and forth I can do where I'm not gonna run into a trainer? Oh, there we go. This is a good one right here. We'll just go back and forth here for a minute as we wrap up here, and we should hatch this egg, which of course would be a new encounter. Uh, and I'll probably go back as well in between episodes and get ourselves another egg. Uh, that way I can uh, train it up and have another. Uh, cool lava, so that way whenever we eventually evolve into Typhlosion, Typhlosion will count as a new encounter. <clears throat> I think that'll help us, because honestly, like I said, we're only 100 new Pokemon. It's going to be slow going for us here at the beginning until we get to a part where there are more available Gen 2 Pokemon for us. Uh, and a lot of them are going to be from evolutions and stuff like that, so that is something to keep... I mean... And nine of the po nine of the one hundred are the starters in their evolutions, and we're not gonna have access to six of them. Uh, so we're a little screwed in that aspect. Uh, we'll, we'll of course be able to pick them up later, but let's do once we get to the top again. I'll check and see how close the egg is to hatching. Hopefully, it's close. Bum, 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 bum. Be close. Well, we'll hatch, it doesn't seem close to hatching. Okay, it's not close to hatching. That's fine. We'll go ahead and wrap up here. Guys on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, definitely let us know in the comments down below. Come join us over on twitch.tv slash Studios to see us play this live. Uh, we will be back on Tuesday around... Oh, bike shop's calling. Hey, it's the bike shop. I've been selling a lot of bikes lately. It's been because riding around that bike advertising for me. I was wondering how best thinking. you. Know, I thought I'd just give you the bike, that bicycle you're riding around. It's yours. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. Cool. Us riding up and down in front of in front of Goldenrod here has, has caused him to sell bicycles. Sweet. Uh, yeah, so we'll be back on Tuesday with uh, Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. Uh, and then we'll probably play that again on Thursday. And then we'll be back with this on Friday. Uh, which should give us enough time to, you know, level some Pokemon up. Uh, nothing too exciting. We aren't going to hatch this egg. After I end this, I'll just throw this egg into the PC. That way I don't ha accidentally hatch it off camera. And I'll grab another egg as well. Uh, I'll, tr I'll try and, like, run them until I get them almost to hatching, uh, and then, like, end it. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.